Target acquired. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're gonna sneak in. Not like we made a massive noise using the fireworks. Bam. Oh, it didn't work. Bam. The goats took something important from us and now I'm taking my revenge on them. More goats over here. Okay, we gotta kill this one. Bam. This is what you get. This is what you get. Yeah. I'll explain to you what happened in a second, but we're basically just going to get rid of all of them right now. I don't care, because they killed some very important um, things to this Let's Play. So I will kill them. And if they think they can mess with us again, well then, same fate as this guy's going to happen. You know what, uh, yeah, I'll just let him be. I'll take that as a warning to him. So, anyways, let's get off. And, so, what did the goats do, to be exact? Well, you know how I had a cow down, like, here? Yeah, see, this spot here? Well, I got a pet goat, and the pet goat killed the cow. And also, that iron golem just disappeared. He's probably in the nether portal. We'll, we'll go in there soon, but that's why we had to take revenge on the goats. But uh, anyways, it is a very important episode of the Let's Play. And have you guys ever like had a pistachio? You know, is uh, you have that one pistachio shell that's like on un you're unable to break over open. It's so annoying. But yeah, anyways, we will be touring around the world, like looking at memories and. Jeez, these leaves look weird through the telescope. It look like they l lost their transparency a bit. Because, like, you can kind of... Well, that might be the old leaves, because, like, leaves, they t the texture change. Actually, yeah, you can see they're kind of transparent a bit, but through the telescope you can't actually see that. But this here would be the first place you spawn if you're coming into my world, because, like, this is where we sp spawned in the first episode. I'm going to show a clip of that right now. Hello, this is Nick Editing, and here is clips from, like, the first episode. And as you can see, like, this is when there was nothing actually here. We're in the same spot in our world right now. But look, this is a village. But nothing, it's, everything's changed. And we used to have subtitles back then like this. So I'll be playing memories like this throughout, like, the adven the adventure, like, around the world. But here you can see, like, that's over where we live, and yeah. So as you can see, probably by the clip, we spawned somewhere around here, and here's the map of the world, like, that shows, like, you'd see if you first spawned in. But, like, sometimes, like, when my bed is obstructed, I still spawn here. Let's continue touring around the rest of the world. I decided to show this historic hut that is still in my Let's Play world. And this was like the hut I cowered did in, in episode 1. This creeper crater here is probably from the very first episode. So I'm going to collect all this up and cherish all of it. Because it's, it's like still here from the very first episode. Because I haven't come here much so the items don't despawn. But this is like kind of on the way to the stronghold a bit off. Oh pesky goats they, they keep on following me they're watching what i'm up to but we'll leave them for now but this here wasn't our first house it was just like a historic place i wanted to show in the let's play but anyways let's continue <laughs> Now, the next historic place in my world, the my very first house, and this was actually built before that tiny little hut, I just decided to go on an adventure trying to get iron and find my dog, which is now Jimmy, who's still here, but he's now a ghost because he died once, and but he came back alive, well, as a ghost, I guess, but as you can see, it's all still pretty much the same from when I used to live in here, just random stuff I acquired, like, from my adventures trying to beat the ender dragon. 
back then. And there's my very first mine, and this bit here was like, I was trying to mine for coal. But let's, anyways, let's roll the clip of when we first made this place. And here we are showing the clip of when I um, first made this house, and it actually started up as just a hole underground, and as you can see, this is all that it was. We were just down here in the video just then, but this is like a day after recording, so not exactly after it. But then later in the video, I built it, as you can see, like this here. And yeah. And this here is where we originally kept the ender dragon egg from when we first beat it. And as you can see, I've taken it because I put it in my base all the way over there. But yeah, let's roll the clip of when I did a fist fight with the ender dragon and actually won because my sword was destroyed. <laughs> Here's where my pet fox lived. He must have died a long time ago. Like a pretty long time ago, so I've kind of forgotten about him. Honestly, he could have died from that creeper explosion right there. But here, another historical part of my Let's Play is the KFC machine, which I've taken some of the parts for, for my zero tick farms, which now, <clears throat> sadly, do not work. But here you can see we still have all the chickens in it, and one of these chickens is probably from, like, episode 3. And like some of them are from like episode four and five and stuff, but like the very the first six episodes were like I had I did a lot in them like I did lots of progress and got to the Ender Dragon pretty quick. But let's roll the clip of when I first finished it and one block that I could have added would have made this whole farm a lot efficienter. But yeah, I wasn't good at redstone back then. <laughs> You're probably seeing that a lot of these videos are a lot more low quality, and yeah, I did, like now, um, honestly, I might just be watching them wrong, I can turn off the, up the pixels, but this here is like from episode 40, I don't think I really need to show it, because it's like quite a recent one, but I built this to like, it was just a small project, but uh, I haven't really used it at all, I just thought it'd be cool, but it's kind of not really useful at all, but let's go to episode 7 where we built our first base. And this here was like one of my favorite episodes because uh, we made this base. And let's cut to the clip of me building it. These clips here like brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. Like see this mountain here we're carving out? That was like, it's gone now. And look here's in the outside of the thing. There's nothing else around it, just the house. And I'll show you the interior of it right now. And it's much different from what it is today. Like, you can see all those furnaces aren't here and stuff. And all those chests and more chests. And we still have these, some of the basic stuff. Oh. So if we continue in here, I'm not sure if I showed you this, but I had just a cool bonsai plant. And here's, like, where the cow died and stuff. You know, it wasn't, it, it wasn't here. But I have this beehive because I'm trying to make a farm. And then this map here, which is probably very outdated, but here. Yeah, I was very proud of those lights when I actually made them back in episode 7. But, oh yeah, here's the ender dragon skull, and here, these are lighters, probably from the same ship I found that skull. And then this bonsai plant, which I got recently, and then let's continue on down to the rooms. This room here was also built in episode 7, that's why it's called Building Frenzy, because I just built a lot. Here, this mannequin, I just wanted one. But, yeah, we should, let's roll the clips. Oh, and this trapdoor here, yeah, you'll see that what that is in a second. Just don't look at it right now. <laughs> Thank you.
This here was built on a later episode, and um, now we have axolotls in here, but I'll try and show the clip of when I made it, if I can find it, because I forgot what episode it was. Ah, and here, well, this was originally the doghouse, but down here we have this place here, and I feel like it was built, like, episode 29 or something. Here was just some experiments and stuff, trying to see if I could get a ghost squid to spawn in this place, but it isn't working so far, so... I'll just get rid of this ugly place in the middle of here. And now, as we go down the stairs here, you can see that this is... Uh, this place here, but it's been changed. I built this place in keeping in mind of that the lush caves would be added and so now that they're actually out I did add some stuff but let's play the quip before I go down here. in that clip I just showed you, wait, here, here, um, is the new area I've been working on, and in that clip I just showed you, um, I placed water down there, in the infinite water source, and I still haven't blocked it off when I said it will eventually be blocked off, like, ten months ago, so, yeah, but this area I've been working on, and I think it looks pretty cool, it's, like, just my own man-made <coughs> lush biomes, and I'm gonna dig all this stuff up, because I feel like creepers can blow up. Shulker boxes, right? And so we just put them in, and I'll show you what, like, you might have seen that massive wood structure up there. We have no clips to play here because this is all between episode 49 and 50, because I've been experimenting with some new, like, building types and stuff, and we're still in range of the beacon, which is pretty good, but anyways, let's go up here. <coughs> you can see I've been using glowberries in my build and stuff and here you got a nice view of the cave here and then oh can you see that behind me this is the new area i've been working on and as i said um like the underground part was inspired by ethos lab and this bit here is too and i've been trying to make a bee farm but for some reason the bee won't come out which is really annoying uh, i'll try and like find a good way to do it but here, this ladder just leads up to that place I was showing you before, so let's go back up here. Oh, and the next part of that we will be showing you is this ugly mob farm, which I really hate looking at now because it just kind of ruins the landscape, so we will be fixing it at some point, but... Yeah, let's show the clip of when we built it, but ne and next we do this place. <laughs> So here is like the significant tower that we always end off our videos in and like this building I was really proud when I made it because like back then I was a noob at building. Like now I probably if I had the resources do I could build some massive scale project that would look actually really good but like this was one of the first things because like the clock tower is massive but it's just pretty plain and stuff. Yeah. <laughs>
this year was like originally our sugar cane farm, but now I have it as a bamboo farm. And then here's the sugar cane matrix, and this is now my main sugar cane farm because the zero to farm is broken. But let's roll the clips. <laughs> the villager place um with the xp farm next to it too so here we have all where the villagers sleep i'm just gonna sleep here quickly to make it day this is where like i breed them get lots of them and i still come here to trade like i'm gonna improve like lots of these buildings like in the next 10 episodes so let's go down here and then i'll show you the trading hall and hmm, there seems to be a cat down here it's probably a naturally spawned one. Here you can see I trade with them here and they have trades and stuff and I get lots of emeralds. And yeah, and let's show the clips. <laughs> And here is our dog house with all the pets, the dogs, I mean, and I remember building this, getting all the blue wool, it was actually pretty tricky, because like, I don't have a sustainable way of getting all these resources. What a, I say sustainable, uh, I don't know. our failure of a nine farm and i could probably jump into that and survive but i don't want to risk it because i'll lose all these levels but play the clip <laughs> here's the end city we are building it's still not done i might continue it at another time but as you can see i've only done like two or three floors and here's the restaurant i've never used and i'll go to the video i made this it was a part of the town we were building <laughs> Here we have the potion shack, and this was built in episode 20, I remember that. Like, I can remember, like, what most of the builds and what build episode they were built in. Like, this was episode 8, and we'll roll the clips for both of those. <laughs>
uh, here we have our failed zero tick farms. We will continue on with this area, but it kind of isn't that good. So let's roll the clip now for just an iPad to handle. So yeah, but I'm going to be digging this out for quite a while. So I might as well sign off here. Said he should give support to the actual person who made the farm. So I will hopefully link it in the description. But I'm going to be using his tutorials again to make a bamboo farm and a cactus farm because we need all the zero tick things we're going to be the zero tick hero and after that i'm going to make a gold farm after i do like kelp farm and that stuff and gold farm i think it's easier to make like and here we have what pretty much basically is our lab so i will cut to when i made it things i think so I'm going to start building them. I've made a perfect circle. It's like AI generated. But I'll see. I'll have to see what it ends up looking at. I might build multiple of them, but I think I need to go to bed now. We got the first dome done. It's going to have glass over there, and that's where I'm building the next one. And then we've got a smaller one. They all like are in size. This one's small. And here we have... The secret entrance, and we fall down to our lab in here. Um, we also have our redstone testing stuff, so let's like show a clip of what we built. Seen him for ages, cause I even back when before he died. The room is done. Time for the reveal. Boom! It's extremely bright, and we have a pattern here. We can get rid of these torches. If there was such thing. As level 16 light then this would definitely reach that yeah I still like this room a lot actually so let's um, get some random crafting table and let's go to the rest of our world here we have our guardian farm I'm praying that it still works but we sort of built it off camera so I don't know if I can find a clip for it really but I should be able to like show find a clip of me showing you it but as you can see like it was quite complicated to build i had to like basically plug all the spots that guardians could spawn so they would only spawn in the that one spot where the it, where it kills them so if we climb climb up here like it still works so you should i probably watch the tutorial but here it is Honestly, nothing has really changed since I've built it, so I guess there's probably not even a point in showing it, but as you can see, there's a lot of fish in it. But then let's continue the tour. Now I decided to show you the Wither Skeleton Farm, which I've been talking about, but it's never actually been in a video because I built it off camera. So let's go there and I'll show you it quickly. It doesn't work at all because I haven't slabbed off everything. If I were to slab off everything, it would work really efficiently, and as you can see these trails were me trying to get a piglin to the nether fortress. And if we fly over here, you can see there's our portal and stuff. And then we have the nether fortress where we always farm with the skeletons and stuff. And you can see what's going on here. Uh, this is always a dangerous place to be. Up, oh, yep. But you saw it, so let's continue. And we here we have our endo base. As, as you can see, if you go into the end, you spawn right here. And this is like just floating in the middle of the void where we beat the end dragon. And here is like the trail all the way over to our end base. And the real impressive thing was that I got villagers here somehow. And it was a painful process, and I would not recommend anyone to go through that. But here you can see we have a map on the end, the main island, and then our tiny little island. This project is really cool. I honestly want to continue doing it. But we have, like, villages in here and stuff. And look, we have self-sustaining stuff for us to keep um going in the end and be able to live in the end. We've got trees, we've got these plants that we could turn into food. And we also got a beacon in here, which isn't complete. It's one of those random colored beacons. But 
it will be complete someday, I guess. And here is the villages that we bought here. So this is a pretty cool place. So we will show Someone. when we built it. And it's going to take a lot of work to get the um, in the netherite armor back. But we have enough to get the diamonds back. Okay, I built this area here. We've got the plants growing and an infinite water source. And I also started a farm. So I think it's I'm going to start building the village area. Well, I... And now, here is the Enderman farm. And as you can see, as we approach it in the distance, this is it here, and I really don't like flying in the void. Oh, and then there's one of the mysterious dragon balls from, like, the fights. It could be from when I respawned the dragon, or, like, from the original one, seeing as I'm in a 1.17 world, and it could be buggy. But here, please say it still works, and what just happened there? I think it's still, yep, it still works, let's go, but maybe, like, possibly, they're angry, so it means the, um, whatchamacallit, endermite is still there, so let's show the clip of when we built this place, and, yeah. It's annoying, but I'm sure it'll work out just fine, so let's do this roof, because I don't want endermen in here, and that's looking good. Because we need it two blocks high, because Enderman can get in. And here is the most monumental part of our world, the clock tower, in it, all of its glory. And this took me hours to build, like, also to get the resources, but it was quite a hard project. And there's some lighting errors over here. And then this farm that is inefficient. And then the clock tower head. We can go up. Some more lighting bugs, you can just see. It's a real problem with updating to 1.17. For some reason, I have a bunch of lighting bugs. But here, you can see I have a lot of room inside the clock tower head. And, oh, also, let's jump down here. Uh, you were scared? Well, I wasn't. And as you can see, I've been building, uh, what's this thing? Oh, pause. Well, I've been building for ages. Let's just say that like, I'm up really high. I got carried away with the clock tower. And, um, yeah, I smashed through it. I built, like, all of it. It was crazy. I don't know. And here is the puzzle place that I forgot about. But it's a pretty cool building. As you can see in here, we have the map here of the place and then down here we have my the conduit in the middle of it and, and then also yeah you can see the conduit and then we also have my sister's netherite gear there and so it's pretty cool but this is pretty much getting around to the end of the video so thank you for all watching the episode and also the series because it's been going on for ages now we're just we showing over all the memories and stuff and yeah it's more fitting i think but anyways we'll see and we're building our base and it's going to be like above the ocean which is pretty cool and all those guys like get killed by the conduit i just noticed that which is pretty cool it means i don't have to kill it also i forgot to show my sister's base here um i'm pretty sure i didn't build it off on camera but it is pretty cool like it's this cave and then you go down into this underground place and the first level here we have like a zombie farm here and it was once a dungeon but i decided to like build over it and it was a dungeon i found like ages ago but yeah this is pretty much the end of the video well that's pretty much it for the video and here we are in the tower here and so basically this will be the end of the video i just want to do one more thing so here is that one more thing and it is our list for what we have to do in the next 10 episodes i want it to be like a very productive next 10 episodes to like finish up stuff and then like the at 100 episodes we'll have a lot more to show and stuff so here we've got stuff to do improve base area kfc machine 2.0 base expansion creeper farm wax it farm and also a proper storage area so it is quite a bit but i have some plans already and some will take like quite a few episodes oh and what is this weird glitch like the storage area i'm planning to build that is a massive scale project in the base expansion we can't do that all in one episode but i've already 
I'm already going to start on it after this, but this is weird. It's a weird bug in my world. It's really annoying. It just makes me feel like all the blocks are like aren't even solid in the world. It's like a weird feel. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And I will see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed the tour around the world. And because for me, it brought back a lot of memories. We also have this here so we can get some candles. So I'm going to craft some candles. And oh, now we can try and find some dye. Uh, and yes, there's already red dye. Let's get some red candles. And then we can I have an idea of where we should put them. Maybe. There, there doesn't seem to be anywhere here. So let's go down. And I think maybe down here to the new area that I'm building would be a good spot. And I can, can I'm going to continue on building a little bit in this place for episode 51. And so let's go into here. Um, nah, no candles there. You can't place candles on that. Okay, well that's pretty annoying, but let's see. Is there any where to place the candles over here? No. Well, this is pretty much getting to the end of the episode. Hurry, it's going to be a long episode to upload. Okay, so here we can delete that. and Oh, we need flint and steel, which is a bit of an annoying thing, but we do have that from when we were going on the 1.17 adventure. Oh, and look, it's pretty cool, but it, does, it barely emits light at all, but... It's just like a cool touch. So let's light it. And here. Why isn't it lighting? Oh, now it is lighted. Okay, good. Well, that's pretty much it for this episode. I'm going to place these candles around. And I'll see you all in the next episode.